Good morning guys, welcome back to you today. Today it's just me and Sophie. Sophie and I awake and ready to start the day it is 9 a.m. I'm headed out. Today's gonna be kind of like a different day. Today I <laughs> It's too early. Yeah, way too early. Um today I am going to an equine first aid class. It's I'm so excited. I can't wait to go. I can't wait to learn like all the equine first aid stuff you get like a big book after like a a first aid course book you get a certificate so i'll be like certified whatever that means but anyway i'm headed there sam on the other hand is headed to a funeral two hours away so the girls are going to be alone all day how do you feel about that sophie Tired. are you excited about it though they literally are never alone because Sam and I are both home. Sam is working from home currently. He will go back to work in the fall. But as it is right now, we are always together, always. So they'll have like the day to relax and do all the things that they like doing with nobody else around. I think all kids need that sometimes. So we're headed off. I'll keep you guys posted on everything that we're doing and uh, wish us luck. Hey guys, it's Sam. Hiding in a room right now. <clears throat> I'm in Toronto actually. Uh, one of my best friends' uh, brother died. He's only a couple years old than me. So, kind of a heart attack. They don't really know because they just found him dead, I guess. So, yeah, so while Laura's enjoying her course, I'm at a funeral. Girls are home taking care of the horses. So the course is actually at our friend's house. Uh, the girls had an opportunity to go if they wanted to go, but they didn't want to go. They wanted me to go and then come back and tell them all the things that I learned and be able to share the book with them and teach them like hands on. So that's what we're doing. The only really bad thing is that it is pouring rain today and it is in a barn. It is in a barn <laughs> that we're doing this. So I have my new warm boots on. I have my coat on. I have my new warm boots on. I have layers. I have like a t-shirt and then I have a hoodie and then I have a coat. I brought some mitts. So I pray for me that we're going to be warm. Also, uh, one of our friends is doing this course with me. Somebody else is doing this course with us. So we're going to see you guys. I hope I love it. It's an all day thing, like eight hours. I'm gonna be on my phone for the most part today. I'm driving. As much as the girls are getting to stay home alone, do their own thing, I'm gonna get a break from them too. Like being home with the girls for the, for most of their lives has been like such a dream and been so amazing. But also being home with the girls all the time has its drawbacks. Like we're always together, which I love and I wouldn't trade for the world, but it's really good for people to get up to be apart. So let's go. All right, I am home. It is eight hours later. Oh, it's five o'clock. Sophie, dad should be home anytime. So Sam and I left together today and I wanted to take a little bit of footage of the, the first aid thing that we went to. I didn't want to like put people on the spot and video them. I didn't want to video other people's horses. So I just videoed what I could that made sense to me because I did want to share it with you guys. It was such a huge experience for me. Having equine emergency first aid is really important. It's really important to me. It's really important to our horses. It's really important to like, it's just such a good thing to have. I got a certificate. Ellie's like, oh, I will get it for you. Ellie was so depressed without you. She was so depressed she without me. She wouldn't leave my side. So while I was- And then your chicken would leave my side either. I know, so the chicken was annoying, right? Yeah. So she messaged me and said, can I put the chicken with the other chickens? I thought she meant, could she put it in here with the baby baby mm -hmm. chickens? But she meant, could I put it back where it came from? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes. So I came home and my chicken is gone. I'm kind of sad about it because I love her, she loves me. So I went out to check on her. Sophie said she's been checking on her this whole day and she's been fine. I'll bring her in like four times a day and give her her medicine until like I know she's 100%. But she's actually doing really great out there. As soon as she heard my voice, she ran close to it and then she jumped up on the water bucket so that she could try and get to me. So I know she's still attached. Just makes me sad. Like if she's ready to go back with the other chickens then she has to go back with them. But anyways, Ellie, we don't shoot, whoops. We don't chew cords. Uh, how was your day by yourself? Good. 
good except for I had two animals attached to me. <laughs> that, welcome to my life. That's how life has been to me. It was good after I put your chicken on. Yeah, the, the chicken was honestly... The chicken was honestly way too hard now. She's like healthier. She's pooping all the time. She's like screaming every time I leave her side. So it's time for her to go back with her other chickens. And I don't want it to be so long that they forget her and are mean to her and she has to <laughs> re-get back in. So, so happy you're back. So anyways, this video is probably gonna be slow and it's not, or this video is probably gonna be short and it's not gonna have a lot of stuff in it because obviously today Sam and I were away but I do want to share some stuff with you. So basically after the first aid course we got this book that covers absolutely every single thing that we covered. So we covered all this stuff um, in the course. If you guys are thinking about taking an equine emergency first aid course you should definitely do it. I know a girl at our old barn she had done it and um having this book is really super valuable like i love that that i took it i wish that i had signed the girls up it's 180 dollars per person um worth it though so um the first half of the day we introduced ourselves and then she went through everything she went through so many things and then the second half of the day after lunch they provided pizza the the emergency first aid group place they went out and bought pizza and they give you a free lunch with the course so um, they went out and got pizza. So after we had pizza, and then we had cupcakes and fruit and stuff for dessert. I should have went. Just you should have went. Just to hang out with myself. No, there were like a bunch of people that we knew there. Like a, we knew practically almost everybody there. We um, so in the afternoon we did like a practical thing, and they we had, I think we had eight scenarios that we had to assess. So they brought us these cards that had and there were eight of them and they had potential issues uh, on them and we had to read it and then we had to figure out how we were going to treat it based on all the stuff that we learned in the morning so one of them was like an abscess and we had to say how we knew like how we determined it was an abscess and what we did and then we had to like make a duct tape boot and we had to dress the foot and prepare it like and treat it like an abscess so obviously i was an expert at that four people in each group and we all got one horse to work on and what was really fun about it is that i loved my group like i was with all the teenagers <laughs> i was i'm like I'm not a dummy. I know the smartest people in the group. The smartest people are always the teenagers. So I got with all the teenagers. There was four of them there. And then there was another little girl that who, who was like amazing. I loved her. She was the cutest little thing. I feel like she used to ride at our barn. I'm sure she used to ride at our barn because I know her. Uh, but she rides at two different other places now. But anyways, so we had to do all these scenarios. There were like a bunch of wounds. There was a abscess um we had to like figure out how to dress a horse that had an injury up high and you know where the bandages might fall down we had to figure out how to like make suspenders out of bandages to figure that out we had to like talk about so we did all these things and that was the practical part of the course it was amazing it was fun i learned so many things that were just anecdotal like things that people that have happened to people before and they said what they did that was unorthodox things that they that you don't usually hear about and it was really good that way it was a really great group of people it was it was actually so fun it was like a whole day in the barn doing this course one day i would love to host something like that for like for my girls um and anybody that that would want to come and do it at our barn gabby did you have a good day all by yourself yeah. with no parents was it relaxing yeah do you know your dad took your your car to the funeral yes i know oh <laughs> I am back from the funeral and putting the horses, feeding the horses indoors because it's a big rainy mess out there. Tomorrow's supposed to rain all day again. It'll be like four days of rain. And this arena is getting messy now because I had to feed them in the morning inside because it was pouring out. Yeah, so it's going to be a big cleanup day. Big cleanup day tomorrow. The problem with the big cleanup days on the weekends is. I have to do it. Gabby and, and Sophie get the day off, so I do it in the morning. So tomorrow, since I'm home, I have lots of time to do it. So.
Anyways, it's been a short vlog because we've been busy today, but that's it for today and we'll see you tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?